Uh, friends, today we are studying electricity. What you know about electricity? You will say, this tube light, this bulb, this is electricity. I charge my mobile, I run my computer on electricity. But electricity is a very, very wide topic and so much it is involved in our life that we cannot think life without electricity. You know, if what you see in the clouds, there is a spark that is electricity. Another wonderful thing, what I see with my eyes, those signals are going to my brain by electricity. My brain is telling my hand to write and that signal is through electricity. If I write on the board and this black ink sticks with this white board, that is because of electricity. If a pump runs, that is because of electricity. And there are so many features of electricity, you can't imagine. It's such a wonderful thing. We are using it in our communication, in mobile, in all other things. So with such a wide topic, when we want to study it, we can't study it in one go, so we have divided into different topics. And the basic cause of electricity, we say the basic root cause is activity of something known as electric charge, this. So this is the root cause of electricity. So first we should have the understanding of electric charge and I tell you, if you understand electric charge very well, you have mastered electricity. Even if you go to IIT level or any level, everything in electricity is due to certain properties of electric charge, which you will see in next four lectures. Okay, so when this electric charge is static at one place, it shows certain effects. All those effects we study in electricity. When this electric charge is in motion, it shows certain different type of effects. Things get heated up. Things get lighted up. That we study in current electricity. When this electric charge moves in a coil, it run our pump, it run our motor, it run our fan. That we will study in magnetic effect. Then this electric charge gives many type of induction without touching anything. It is giving effect from a distance that we will study in electromagnetic induction. Then how we run this electric charge, how we give it energy that we will study in generation of electricity. And then it gives a wonderful thing of tuning. And this is what we are using in our mobiles, in our communication system. So that all we will study in communication and tuning by electricity. So, so many things. All these effects are shown by a single thing that is electric charge. So it is so important. But now we come to what is electric charge? This is why we need to study electric charge. Okay. Come back to the nature. In our nature, when we study, the nature is made of two components. One component is energy that is in the form of radiations and other is matter. In our physics, thrust area is reduction is. We want to know the source of this nature, how the things are working and we want to reach that particular one reason or the one cause which is controlling this universe. So far, we could not find it. But we are approaching, making the things narrow down the things and we have come to know that this universe is made of two things, radiation and matter. And now very recently in modern physics we will study that radiation and matter both are basically one and that is only and only energy. Sometimes this energy is being shown as radiation and sometimes it is being shown as matter okay both have energy now there is one property we will study that is applying force 
In this we will bifurcate and now we are studying properties of the matter. One very important of property of the matter is that it can apply force. When it has energy it can apply force. Now what is a force? Force is in our general language it is pushing something or pulling something that is force. Okay. Why a matter should apply a force? This has always been a question with all the physics learners that why a matter should apply force and what is its characteristic due to which this can apply force, some matter apply force, some matter do not apply force. Does it happen? Answer is yes. We see earth applies a very large force. If I leave this, it will go towards earth and here I call it come back. It does not come back. Why it does not come back when this hand is ordering it and why it goes towards earth? So we find a reason. We find the reason that earth has got larger mass than my hand. So there is a force due to mass. We have given it a name and that name is gravitation. That is force of gravity or force of gravitation. And the reason for force of gravitation is mass. Now, in our nature, we declare, yes, now we understand the reason of force is mass. Anything which has got mass will apply force and earth is the largest body in our nature around us which will apply force. Okay, so earth will attract the things towards it. But then I see some different forces. A matter is applying the forces. These are few pieces of uh, paper. This is my pen, this pen. This requesting the papers to come. They do not come. It has no power. Okay, now I rub it. And now I put it here. See. Now gravity is calling these down, but this has attracted these pieces of paper against the gravity. That means this has got a very large force which is larger than the gravity. Now I am surprised, all physicians are surprised that in our nature there is another force which is larger than gravity and it can act against the gravity and it can also attract. So we should give a name to that force. Normally in physics we don't like to uh, make many topics. We want to limit them to one. So, so far there was gravity, one force. But now this second force has come. We cannot explain it because of mass. Because this pen has got a very small mass compared to earth. Why it should attract the papers upward? No answer. No answer. So, we have to establish something new that this nature has got more than one type of forces and this other type of force which is attracting we will give it another name and we give this name electrical force why it is electrical force i will tell you that story will also come up electrical force now this gravitational force is because of the property mass what anything is having what is this electrical force is due to which property? We know it is not due to mass because this mass was less and it was attracting. So what does it has? We have to give that property a name. We have to give that characteristic a name which is pulling it up with the electrical force. So we want that name and it was very easy to find a name. First when I put this pen here, it is not attracting it. When I put this pen after rubbing, it is attracting it. So I say, now this pen is charged. Charged means what? Having force. When an army goes to attack, what the general shouts? Charge. That means attack, have a force. So having a force for that, a very common word is charge. So we call it, it is charge. What does it show? Electric force. So we give it the name electric charge. 
so this is we have to there was no alternative we have to create another force we have to find out another property of the matter that matter has got two properties one is mass due to which it applies the force of gravitation another property is electric charge due to which it applies the electrical force there is no third force so far we could find in our nature macroscopic microscopic inside the atom we do have we call them nuclear force strong nuclear like nuclear when we go to nuclear we will study that but macroscopic what we see with the eyes what we experience these are the two forces and so this is electric charge is the root cause of electric force so now can we define it in the words okay we can define it very well in the words so now we can write definition electric charge is characteristic develop on a matter due to which it can apply force on other particle so remember two things one is this has to be a matter and on that matter this characteristic is developed electrical charge so matter is compulsory for electric charge and now this is the definition you can note down for purpose of definition so we have studied what is electric charge only what is electric charge this we have studied today how large is the electricity that we have seen today but now this electric charge we have to find out how many type of charges are there what are their characteristics and these we will study in the next class thank you